Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the submeter. As you can see, I have one digital submeter and also I have one analog submeter. This is called single phase ding rail. This ding rail you can use it if your load is not too much, if you have lightweight load like you have a garage or you have small things you, you want to use them and you can use this ding rail. If your load is more or else if you want to use a heavy load till 40 amp, you can use this submeter. This is from Evo stuff. This is very good submeter and this is also qualified tested and the good thing about this meter is the reading that you take it is never going to be changed so you cannot be modified it or edit it so the load that you can use it is going to be safe or permanent so, so the units you cannot be changed and also the good thing is you can easily install in your db box both some meters are very good you can use depending on your load if your load is less you can use this one if you are using a heavy load or something you can use this model and both of them are qualified tested. Whenever you use a submitter, always use them a qualified tested. And also the installation is very easy. You can install them very easily. I am going to explain you one by one how to install them. First, I am going to tell you about the single DIN rail. We have option for live, one for input, two for output, and same neutral, four for output, three for input. So this is the single DIN rail. You can see read the reading like that. And for digital submitter, I have number one for live input number two for neutral input and on the top I have number three for live output and number four for neutral output. So as you can see I have installed two submeters here for two apartment with name of number two and number three with one meter. So I newly installed them you can see the readings one take more consumption than the other one. So like this how you can install them. It's very useful for a load. So I can give the supply from down, the input, both of them and I take output from the top. You can see this is another example with number 1A and number 1. And also you can see another one here. Now I'm going to tell you about the single DIN rail. It's already installed in the drive through You can see I have light load. So we don't have too much load here. As you can see I have one light sensor and emergency light on this side. And also on the other side I have three more lights so all together I have four lights and sensors you can use single module DIN rail for similar kind of load and as you can see I installed the lights they are not taking too much power both of them are very useful you can use them depending on your choice thanks for watching see you next time